Yeah, I think they're gonna survive. Um, they can do a lot with the story. It's it's really kind of up in the air. So many things they can do. I think Universe 7 and 6 are going to survive uh, just by, like, them using the Dragon Balls to bring something back. I think either universe is going to end up doing that is my best bet. Fix a few things here. I think a lot of people are under underestimating how strong Go Gohan is. He seems like he's got a lot of hidden power that hasn't really come out yet within the show since he got his power ups. Same thing with Vegeta. There's a lot of stuff that's not known about Vegeta right now, too. And the only one who has really done anything is Goku. Goku, Android 17 had a good amount of time, uh, Roshi... All the, all those kind of guys like had their time in the in to shine. Gohan kind of, but they didn't really show off the powers that he's got, really. Like yeah. I don't think 18's going to do much. I think she's kind of just Calum there to be there. Um, the penalty for failure is death. And I think I think we're gonna see something interesting with Frieza. You may I think he's biding his time. I, I feel like he is probably uh, in in a, in a fairly close to the strength of Jiren, and they're kind of just having him sit off to the side, biding his time, saving his energy. And there's gonna be a big fight between those guys, I imagine. And then, uh... Oh. There's a lot of possible interesting things that are gonna happen. I have a feeling, uh, Vegeta might have something similar to Ultra Instinct as well. Just by the way he's acting. Find Bastila and bring her to me, alive if possible. As you command, Master. He just, he's acting really weird. Exactly. And judging by what's happened in the past with him, and him being able to deal with the Hakai, I think he's a lot stronger than uh, he's been shown. Oddly enough. Same kind of goes for Gohan. A lot of people are saying he's weak because uh, for some reason they think um, that he was asking his dad to get to, to go to his stronger modes, but I think he was just like, stop screwing around, dad. You know, let's actually fight because I know how you act, right? You know how Goku is, he likes to drag shit out. You felt it, yes. Another vision? The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revenant Man. So there's like a lot Kashyyyk of interesting lush, stuff to come up, I think. Developed world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. 
Like, I think Vegeta's gonna totally do, just, like, stomp Topo. And maybe fight Jiren, I don't know. He doesn't need it. Um, as far as I can see, Mystic San is very similar to Super Saiyan Blue. Nobody can really feel the power of Mystic San, and I think it's something like it. Because he did learn it from uh, the Supreme Kai's, right? So it might be something to do with the god power. I'm not 100% sure, but it might be something to go uh, go in that uh, area of it. The Wookiees of Kashyyyk make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. It's, it's tough no to say with Go Gohan. We discover the star map's He's location. just so much of a different character. Like, no one else, uh, gets uh, as strong as him through emotions, it seems. Let's bring along Zalbar here. As far as I can see, I don't, I don't... I don't think he's going to be using anything kind of Super Saiyan anymore. I just don't think we've seen the full power of his mystic. And then Vegeta definitely has something up his sleeve. We'll see it as it all comes along. But I am looking forward to the Kefla fight. Probably. There's a good chance, unless he, uh... Unless he, uh, kind of, like... Gets it in himself to, like, I don't know, defend, because, like, he kind of discovered that throughout uh, his training, from from what I understand. It's an interesting situation, no matter what. And they've kind of gypped Gohan for so many years. He has been one of my favorite characters. I'm going to be ending up here pretty shortly though because I do have work in the morning. So, I will be back on tomorrow. Oh yeah, for sure he's going to definitely train a lot more. He is going to be a really, really, really sick character in the future.
Depending on what they do with Dragon Ball. With the end of Super, it's going to be kind of a, a weird place. With how they've kind of set sat the timeline and everything like that. That all depends on how long they make Super go. Because they can expand it so much further than they have. Yeah. You got Oob. But that whole storyline of it now just doesn't fit. And they may just, honestly, they just may just cut that out of there. It may not matter. I, I've seen them do weirder things. It's so strange. But I will be back on tomorrow. So I'll be able to continue uh, more Dragon Ball Z chat with you there tomorrow. And uh, I'll be back on my regular time, uh, 8.30 PST. Usually ending around, uh, what is it right now? It's probably 11 PST right now. So... I'll see you tomorrow if you want to come join me again.